Hey kids, Jane with uh, Crypto the Wonder Dog. Today, Charlie is in San Francisco and uh, he's out there visiting family and friends, but uh, he was kind enough to take a jog over to the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, broadcast live, live broadcast from, well, not live, not for you guys, it's not live, it was live for me, uh, broadcast of uh, a couple of stories we got from Bit News today. Um, and it's always great to have him on. And uh, today's show is sponsored by uh, Royal Garage, which is going to be a show on, I believe, the History Channel. And that's uh, Troy Ladd and Courtney Hansen. Uh, you see right here, Hollywood Hot Rods. And that is Troy Ladd. He's in the he, uh, Glendale area. A phenomenal hot rod builder. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, go online. Uh, Hollywood Hot Rods. I believe it's HollywoodHotRods.com. Search Troy Ladd. Uh, and the uh, always gorgeous uh, Courtney Hansen. Their show, I believe, coming up uh, October, November, December, somewhere somewhere on there on the History Channel. Royal Garage, check it out uh, on your cable provider. Uh, today's show at uh, on, uh, on, on the news, uh, bitnewstoday.com. Uh, we take a couple of stories that they have and give our spin on it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. This is... Uh, my Charlie's uh, short talk on a um, couple of sh- couple of the uh, articles that we found on Bit News today. All right, you guys ready to start the show? All right, let's start the show. I can I can look at food and get fat. You get in your fifties, it just happens. You know? Yeah. Damn it! Um, so Charlie is uh, Charlie is at the Golden Gate Bridge today. Um, Charlie, let me see where where'd my mouse go. There it goes. Charlie. Hey, what's up, guy? Oh my gosh, what's uh, what's that behind you? Get, that's a bridge that somebody wants to sell me for two hundred and fifty bucks. That's it. That's it, man. And so I'm no fool. I'm gonna come down here and check it out. You know? Did you give him a, a deposit? So, yeah, I think I think it's a good deal, baby. I think it is. <laughs> it, it looks like it's a good deal. You should absolutely jump on that, man. I will. I will. Can you lend me a hundred bucks? Hey, I can. I can lend you a hundred of the uh, the crypto, the Wonder Dog token. See if he'll take that. Okay. Well, we'll take. I'll take that. I'm sure they'll take that. Yeah, they should. They should take a uh, you know about a, th- a th- Tell them we'll give them a thousand uh, crypto, the Wonder Dog tokens for that bridge. Okay. Yeah. You know, something, you know, the Crypto the Wonder Dog, we're, we're, you know, we're broadcasting or podcasting from San Francisco. I mean, we are cosmopolitan, baby. Cos- cosmopolitan. <laughs> we are cosmopolitan. <laughs> that, that, that's the poor man's uh, playboy uh, when I was a kid. That's that's uh, <laughs> that's how I got it. No, that's, that's a female version of playboy. What the hell are you talking uh, about? I, oh, dude. Um, yeah, my mom used to have cosmopolitan and I would sneak those into my room. Yeah, the bra <laughs> ads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The bra and well, panty ads. Do... <laughs> hey man, you got to do something, Lubbock. <laughs> yeah. Hey, pull pull your phone away from your face a little bit. Pull it away. Um, let me see that bridge. Turn it around so I can see the bridge. Get get out of the frame. We don't want to see your big ugly head in there. Let's see that bridge. Look at that. Look at that shot, man. Wow, you're a living the dream, dude. Hey, man, I'm telling you, we do the best for you guys out there in uh, YouTube land. I mean, you should be happy. You should be subscribing, liking, and subscribing. Yes, absolutely. Like and subscribe and hit the little bell. Also, also, if you're on YouTube, uh, I mean, if you're on iTunes, go over to YouTube, find the Crypto the Wonder Dog show, like it, subscribe to it, and hit the bell. Uh, that helps us out a lot and uh, encourages advertisers to uh, be our buddies. All right. Well, so- yeah. And- you know, if we if we can get you to do that, folks, if you do that, the next podcast will be from uh, France, from the Eiffel Tower. How's oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, uh, so, um, let's see, Charlie. I sent you a couple of articles, and yep. uh, um, we, uh, you know, we, we got our buddies over at Bit News today. Uh, they're pumping pumping articles to us. The first one we got is the DLT, how to make money on freedom of speech. Yep. All right. And this is, this is so important because of the fact is that for instance, um, the social media that dominates everything is of course, Facebook. 
But Facebook has been censoring a lot of content lately. I mean, we, we've all known about the fake news, the Alex Jones controversies and everything else. Really? But, yeah. So what people are saying is, look, we, we have to have a decentralized uh, method of being able to communicate with each other. And Facebook and the, and the methods that we have now, for the most part, don't work. There's, I think, 2 billion people who are on Facebook. And as they're saying, don't expect these people to go out there and do anything to try and, and facilitate free speech. What you've got to do is find a decentralized, again, decentralized method of being able to, uh, to, to be able to do social media and get information out. Guess what they're going to be using? Blockchain. So the question is, can we, and, and some places have already begun to do this. I think there's a place called Steemit. They haven't used blockchain, but this is an alternative method. And the thing about blockchain, is, uh, let, me, let, me, let me back up. Let me finish that thought. Steemit is not a blockchain uh, uh, controlled method of, of, inter, of social media. Okay. So don't, I don't want to give that. I'm just saying that's an alternative to some of the other social media methods that are available now. Yeah. But the question with with uh, with blockchain is that, or the point about blockchain is, once it's out there, it can't be altered and it can't be dis discarded. That's it. It's there for good. Yeah. And and it's a very it's if it works well, if it does its job, then the likes that you get um, are genuine. These are people who are willing to go and 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 uh, spend their time, and it's a far more uh, egalitarian way of being able to get information out of there yeah so hey charlie pull the saying, pull the uh pull the phone away from your face a little bit for my what pull the phone away from your face it's too close to your face there you go keep keep going further 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 yeah because i can't i can't see you look at the camera look at the look at the phone yeah then we feel like you're talking to us now <laughs> okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's some beautiful women down here. So yeah. All right. Um, Sorry. Stay with us, man. Stay with us. Uh, all right. So, um, and and uh, what is what what does uh, what does the um, let me get, let me get my thoughts together here. What do, what's the uh, what's Facebook uh, got to say about? Uh, I mean, were, were they were they quoted anything in here? Or were they just uh, no? They as were, example. They, <clears throat> in this yeah, in this particular article, they did mention the situation that was happening with Facebook and that Facebook has been involved in a controversy regarding uh, content, that they wanted to make sure that the content was not hate speech or uh, fake news or whatever else, any other method that was out or any other excuse that they had. Yeah. But, you know, if you're going to have that situation, then you're going to have to have one person making that decision or a small group of people making the decision what's legitimate and what's not. Yeah. So people are arguing and saying, look, can blockchain be used as a method of being uh, a, another alternative method where you don't have to deal with any of this? Yeah. Again, it's a decentralized method of being able to communicate with each other. And uh, this is what this is the thing that they, they uh, believe blockchain can actually be used to do uh, to, to, to tokenize speech, to have people be willing to go out there and subsidize and pay for the information that they get. And. It, we'll have to see in, uh, because the methods and me uh, mechanism isn't in place yet for yeah. that. Yeah. But they're beginning to look for it, and they're um, trying diligently to see if the blockchain can be used in that particular in that particular situation. Yeah. So on uh, on Steemit, I, you know, we we have some uh, we have a little bit of a presence on Steemit. Uh, I think you can find Crypto the Wonder Dog on here, um, and uh, uh, I I do know that a lot of uh, yeah, there's you know you, you can even search like over here on the left hand side, crypto is kind of a big thing on Steemit. Uh, a lot of a lot of the people that that we see have articles, they have videos on Steemit, and I think it's a way that you can monetize your content. You know, you, precisely, you get yeah. enough you enough content on there, you, you can monetize it, and you're not you're not uh, you know subject to the uh, the scrutiny of uh, things like. Facebook, where they can just kind of randomly just take your crap down if they feel it doesn't comply with their, uh, you know, with their rules and regulations. But they can they can sure take your 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 uh, information and content and sell it to the highest bidder. Exactly, yeah. that's the whole point. That's what's so that's what's so incredibly unfair because they've been caught. Facebook has been caught data mining, taking the information of their subscribers and and you or selling, I guess, to the highest bidder. And remember something else. You did a story about how Facebook 
was going to not uh, allow cryptocurrency advertising. Yes. Yeah, they were going to block so all that. They were going to block all that. Well, you know, whether you like cryptocurrency or not, if you're going to be a, a social platform, a media platform, who's going to make the determination that something is good and something is bad? I mean, if I wanted to do advertising for penny stocks on Facebook, I wonder if they would have the same kind of um, restrictions for that. I don't know. It'd be no, interesting. No, of to course see. not. No. No, they wouldn't. And I'll tell you what. I mean, cryptos may have problems, and we all know that. Yeah. But there are a lot of other methods or a lot of other investments and uh, vehicles that are just as problematic. Yeah. And it seemed not to have any sort of problem getting advertising. So yeah. this is this is another way of being able to decentralize. And, we, you know, we keep saying the same thing, Dean. For cryptocurrency or the blockchain to be efficacious, to actually become less of a novelty in, in real world, it has to solve real world problems. Well, here's one. You know, uh, media con or media or content uh, uh, what do you call it uh, when, when you try and, and uh, stop media, certain kind of media content well that's a problem that's a real world problem we're going to try censoring. and see if we can <laughs> censoring is yeah. the word. I'm sorry censoring. thank you yes. <laughs> yeah so w that's a real world problem that somehow blockchain should be able to figure out a method around if it can do it this might be the way to do it Yeah. and um, we'll have to wait and see but that's quite interesting very, very interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, um, that yeah, that's that's great. Okay. So the next thing we have is uh, Iran, India, and the U EU are running out of the U.S. control. Yep. This is even more important, in my opinion. What happens is there's a there's a uh, there's a telecommunication system that banks use, financial institutions use, which is called SWIFT. And it's a society for, let me just get the word correctly, um, Society for Worldwide Financial Transactions. In okay. other words, this this particular uh, mechanism is what controls all financial transactions that go on. I mean, if you get a letter of credit from some over, or, or some sort of, um, uh, you know, some sort of uh, financial instrument from some other country or some other institution, yeah, it has to go through this. It has to go through SWIFT. So a few years ago, hey Charlie, United, you got. Yeah. <laughs> we can only see your mouth. We want you. To, we want to see your face, and we want you to look at the camera when you're talking to us. Okay, uh, <laughs> make us feel like we're part of the conversation, man. Uh, Angle okay. it. Bring your bring your arm all the way out. Put your arm all the way out. Good. Now bring your camera up a little higher. Up higher. There. Keep it right there. That's perfect. You got the background. You got your face. Look at the camera. Now, this is TV. This is great TV right here, man. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, nobody wants to see my goddamn face. Hey. They want to hear what I have to say. We, we do, though, man. You're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, you know, I was so ugly when I was born. My mother said not, you know, she wouldn't breastfeed me. You know? just... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it was bad. Yeah. Yeah, did but you have anyway. to breastfeed off one of those three-legged dogs running in the streets of Mexico? Yes. <laughs> she only would breastfeed me through a straw. It was just that bad. It was too traumatic for her. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, okay, keep going. Sorry well, to catch anyway, you off. This, the, the <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Hey, nothing, nothing but the best for us. Hey, man, we, we're, we're a first-class show, baby. Yeah, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, you got a background here. So shut the hell up, folks. <laughs> All right. What do you want for free? You I, yeah, yeah. What do you want for free, man? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, the the point that I was trying to raise is that if the United States, or actually other Western uh, countries, but Western industrialized countries, but mainly the United States, is going to sit there and say we're going to browbeat you and take you off of SWIFT if you don't uh, conform to what we say politically. Other nations are saying, you know what, Th this is no way to act. This is no way. And this came about because of what happened when the United States got involved in what was happening in Ukraine yeah. a few years ago. Oh, yeah. Well, they did not like that the Russians were um, were su uh, supporting a certain faction in that in that uh, war. Yeah. And they and they said we're gonna we're going to uh, punish you by taking you off the SWIFT system, which was pretty much an act of war. If you cannot have access to that particular uh, mechanism, you can't do transactions. And they did that same thing with um, with Iran, and they were threatened to do it with Turkey. But any yep. other nations that they did not feel uh, were conforming to what they wanted to do, not economically, but just politically. Yeah. 
And so other nations around the world were saying, well, wait a minute, you know, you, who gives you the right to do something like this? This isn't going through the United Nations. You know, you, you haven't, this is sort of been, a, been akin to an act of war. Well, you know, what right do you have to do something like this? So these other nations are beginning to find out, and you, you've been good enough to, uh, you've done a good enough job talking to other uh, uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin uh, entrepreneurs who are saying, look, we're going to use the uh, cryptocurrency or the blockchain to facilitate things like trade. Yeah. Well, what the German uh, foreign minister or finance minister has said is that we, the EU is going to have to figure out another way of doing a, a, an alternative to the SWIFT system. We're going to have to create our own version of SWIFT. And you know the major reason is why? Right. Germany gets so much of its uh, gas and oil from Russia. So really? If Russia, yeah. Oh, they, I didn't know they that. Are, yeah. The, the, well, not the Soviet. The Russians have always been a major supplier of gas and oil to Western Europe. So the way that they trans, do the transactions is, of course, through the SWIFT system. You take that away, and you're pretty much going to be affecting a lot of Western Europe and their standard of living. So Germany has come along and said, you know what? We can't keep doing this. We have to be able to do something else. Guess what they're looking at? Blockchain. Blockchain. They're going to see. They're going to see if the blockchain is going to be capable of, of facilitating trade across the uh, you know across europe yeah. across the world as a matter of fact because iran is also you know having to deal with the same side of the situation as well this is and i thank the folks at bit news today because to be quite honest with you i don't know of any other mainstream media that has covered this story at all and the folks at bit news today have done have done the story so i would suggest everybody that that's listening to us Go to Bit News today, patronize their site, and start reading what they have to say. They've done a very good job of bringing you this kind of information. Yeah, yeah. And again, like you and I have said repeatedly, if blockchain is ever going to become real, it's going to have to solve these problems. And here we have it right here. This is about as real world as you get. Yeah. If you can't facilitate oil and gas transactions, <laughs> not only can you not do business, you're going to freeze to death. So, um <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's about as real as it gets. So that's this is going to be something that's going to be some something for us to follow up on. And uh, I thank the folks at Bit News today awesome. for doing the story and, yeah. and uh, giving us that information. Well, wonderful. Well, um, what uh, you know, we've got a, we've got a few more stories that we're going to be covering here um, coming soon. And uh, we, we appreciate the guys at Bit News today for uh, dropping those off to us and. Uh, giving us a little little bit to talk about so um yeah and uh it's always good to have you on because you're the smart one <laughs> you know that's that's the problem when you start mixing your alcohol with pills you start yeah. saying things like that you know? <laughs> well you know it is only uh noon noon 30 here uh well it's actually one one thirty now on the uh, on the west coast so it's uh, it's already thirty minutes past my drinking time, so uh, it, it, I'm just delirious from lack of uh, pills and alcohol at this point. <laughs> you know what's great is that you know we get paid for doing this. You know that's what's amazing about this, and I, I couldn't I wait. Couldn't be happy. Who, who? What do you? You're getting paid? No, hey, you're getting paid. What do you mean? Hey, where's my paycheck, man? I'm just trying to tell the public that they need to pay us. That's what they're. Yeah, they, they do. Like. They do need to pay us. Um, and, uh, you know, if any gigantic sponsors are out there listening, like Coke or Nike, Nike or Chevrolet, hey, throw us, uh, throw us some money, man. Hey, man, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try and get a hold of you this Sunday. Where are you going to be Sunday? I'm going to be here in San Francisco. Oh, you're staying out there. What are you doing out there right now? Oh, I'm visiting uh, family. I'm visiting my son. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to get him to buy as much food and, and grog for me as he possibly can. Okay, know? good. So, uh, All right. I don't know. I think he wants to see the old man get the hell out of here. You know? <laughs> so you're you're off uh, today sightseeing the uh, the Golden Gate yeah. Bridge and some other other crap there well, in San Francisco. I, I lived here, so this is nothing new for me. But I, oh, did you live in San Francisco? Oh yeah, yeah. Really? I went, uh, yeah, I lived, uh, I lived in North Bay for quite a while, oh. and then I you know went to school here for a little while. So yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was quite, quite familiar with San Francisco. Wow. All right. Well, very cool, man. Well, um, thanks for being on the show today, Charlie, and thanks for you know, taking the time to dive into those stories. And uh, yeah. we've got a couple more to do, so let me know when you're ready. We'll be here, man. All right, buddy. Don't, all right. don't get too drunk, all right? No bar fights, all right? I, no, no promises. Uh, no promises. All right. All right.
out there to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Okay? All right, good. Good talk. Okay, bye.